All right, so a very big welcome once again to this particular platform, uh, Penas TV. So currently, there's something which is going on in the world. So um, the breaking news, if you don't know what is really going on, Interpol have said that Putin, if he should step in Africa, or if he should step in South Africa, he ought to be arrested. So, so for those of you who don't know why Putin is even going to South Africa and why his arrest warrant have been called, let me explain. So in the back, uh, we've been seeing what is going on between Russia and Ukraine. And this whole war have claimed the lives of a lot of people on the ground. And because of that, the international, uh, the World International Courts or the ICC have come out to say that Russia President Vladimir Putin is the person who is behind all of these war crimes. And as a result, all the innocent people who have died, he ought to be charged. So ICC have actually placed a bounty on him together with the Interpol. So any time Russia President Vladimir Putin steps on any foreign soil, if it is in South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, United States, UK, anywhere, China or anywhere, he ought to be arrested. Now initially, this warning has come. They've sent out the messages to people that anytime Russia President steps, steps in your country, you need to allow Interpol to arrest them. Now, the whole world, the second most uh, strongest military nation in the whole wide world is Russia. So if you really want to do that, you have to start thinking twice, especially if your country doesn't have the same capabilities. Now, the reason why all of this thing is happening and even why Putin is going to South Africa, I'll explain. Behind the back, Russia President Vladimir Putin is doing something. He's trying to rebuild the old Soviet Union. The old Soviet Union is like now America. They were strong. They were the, they were the world superpower. So after United States and other countries sanctioned Russia over the Ukraine war and, I mean, gave them a whole lot of restrictions in their trade and other things, Russia and also the president and also the economic committee is bringing up ways that they can evade the sanction. One of the ways is to build their own currency, okay, because uh, when when U.S. sanctioned Russia, currently their currency became very weak it made their currency very weak so in order to evade something like that and even in the future uh, they had to think fast and bring something new so what russia did was to collate with other countries to bring up a new currency now this new currency i'm talking about the name is BRICS. BRICS is an abbreviation for all the countries involved or an acronym for all the countries involved b which stands for um brazil r which stands for russia i which stands for um, india c which stands for china and s which stands for uh, south africa so these countries which have come together to form the BRICS, um they've met several times last year this year but then they will be having a final meeting in south africa where all the leaders of this of the BRICS nation will be present. So um, the reason why they'll be having the meetings is obviously to launch their own currency, which will be available in South Africa. And even if you don't know, many countries, including Nigeria, have actually petitioned the BRICS to join them because everyone ha wants to have a strong currency which can really compete with the dollar on the international market. So once this meeting will be coming on in South Africa, and South Africa is also a home ground to Interpol and part of the uh, uh, the whole world or the World Peace Committee or even the ICC and everything, the United Nations, it ought to actually go in line with the directives, the directives of uh, the ICC or the rules and regulations that the ICC have said that any time Russia president steps in any foreign land, the ICC or Interpol ought to arrest him. So. Russia president have said he'll go to South Africa, okay? And South Africa president have said that there's no way. For those of you who don't know, the South African president, this is his name, okay? His name is President Ramaphosa. He's the South African president. He has said that you can't arrest Putin in South Africa if he doesn't allow it. In fact, he has even made certain, uh, past certain laws within this time that prohibits any person from arresting Putin in the country if Putin comes there. But... This whole thing has sent countries to a shock wave. So one of the things that um, the ICC, the International uh, Court, and also the UN is saying is that Ramaphosa have to actually agree to arrest Putin. And Ramaphosa is saying that no way, he's not going to really allow it. So this is the whole thing that is going on, but we don't know if Interpol will perhaps cross the line and arrest Putin. I mean... We'll, we'll just cross the line and say, hey, we have the orders. We have to arrest Putin. He's on a foreign soil. We don't know how 
South African military and even Russian military will translate that or how they will meet that particular thing, how they will take it. We don't know their reaction to it. So basically that is so if you are hearing that Putin is coming to South Africa and you'll be arrested, that's the whole thing involved. And that is the whole uh one of the whole reasons that is uh causing this whole stare on social media and other stuff. Now uh, Putin will not only be arrested if or his arrest warrant is not just um, valid in South Africa, it's valid in Ghana, Nigeria, US, any country, but obviously some countries uh, really bend the rules, like China, China will not even give in or even waste time to um, arrest Russia president, the same thing for India, Brazil and other stuff, but South Africa is more like a close ally to the entire United uh, States of America and also the role they played in the whole slave trade and other stuff. So uh, they thought it wise that South Africa will really jump in and allow Putin to be arrested. But currently, South Africa president is saying that it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. If they try to do that, they will be met with force and perhaps uh, perhaps it could turn deadly. And I don't think Russia will also allow that situation to happen because if that happens, we should be looking at WW3, which is World War Three. So currently, if you, are, if, you are, if you are learning or you are getting a feed that President Ramaphosa, um, Putin will be coming to meet in South Africa and Putin's, Putin will be arrested. That's the whole issue. We'll be giving you more updates as all of these various events continue to unfold in our beloved country. Who else? Also sexy. Who else? So I've mentioned just two. And I'm struggling like that. Okay, I think Shatawale is sexy in his own way. Yeah, he has, you know, some women like men who are very, you know, aggressive. And, you know, they want to take over the world. I feel, you know, so that makes him very hot, you know. <laughs> and I think Stone Boy is also amazing. Uh, hey. It has some more. Yeah, the last on my list is Patapa. <laughs> yeah, he's also, you know, he has this cute hair thing going on with him. You know, and he's, even his hairstyle is, you know, is a put on for some people. Now he's married, you know, so for him to be married means the guy is sexy. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was even thinking you'll be mentioning Kwame Eugene, Kiddy, and those guys. Oh, those people, Kwame Eugene and Kiddy, me, I feel so almost um, um, You know, I'm, I'm not a little girl, so I, I actually don't like young men. You know, I don't really like young men. The people I mentioned, I feel maybe they are older. Yeah. Kwame Eugene, I'm a young, I'm a young boys. What about Kwame now, Kwame now? Oh, my goodness, how did I forget about him? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Charlie, oh, my mistake. Oh, Charlie, that man. Ah. His voice, his body. Yeesh. <laughs> I hope he's not married. And so be somebody's wife will come and beat me. I hope he's not married. But come now, come now. It's, it's sexy. The way they are sexy men, I believe they are sexy women too. Oh, our girls are very big. Then tell me the sexiest one. The hot girls in Ghana. Hot girls in Ghana. Okay, I think, I think Sister Fia. Sister Fia is very hot. Recently, all the calves are... I don't know what's happening, but something has brought all the calves out, you know. So <laughs> she's hot. I think when she is hot, you know, people have their own whatever, their own business. But I think she's really hot. I think all the girls are hot. Why am I even taking some out? All the female artists, the the look at Becca, look at E F Y A, Charlie. All the girls are hot. Did you mention your name? Oh, you're talking. You're asking me to mention other people now. But of course, I'm. Hey, I don't go from Jai Jai. Hey, what are you talking about? Jai, that be yankasa bebre, yankasa bebre. Yeah. In fact, I wish this conversation would never come to an end. But like we know, time and tide waits for no man. So this is where we end today's conversation. So say goodbye in your sweet voice for us. It's your girl, Iona Ash. The only artist at your cervix with a mic. See you guys soon. <laughs>